Everybody, uh, George Donnelly here. Um, hopefully I got my mic set up all right. Uh, sorry about the missed episode yesterday, very busy. Uh, so, decentralization, what is it? Is it something you configure in the software? Is it new software you have to make? No, at the end of the day, decentralization is just more people. It's just more people. Decentralization means more people more spreading out of the power of the influence and you know not just more customers which is you know important you know customers but more people who care and have um who take an active role and who actually like make an effort to learn or or add value uh to the system yeah so, for example, um, so basically, what this means is like we need more people. We need to on more onboard more people. Really, everybody needs to be bringing more people, and it's not just a matter of you know like getting your friend to download uh, the wallet. That's helpful, right? But that's that's not enough. Like we also need people to build new apps, to, to, to make new companies. You know, like we have a situation now where we have the great gift of, uh, you know, noise that cash, um, you know, which uh, kind of surprising uh, how fast it's grown. Um, you know, have to really take my hat off to um, Simon, the guy behind it, as well as Mark Demisel, who has uh, essentially funded it. Um, and really what noise.cash is permitted to happen is it's really, it's permitted Bitcoin cash to evidence, to prove to the world that, uh, we can have, we can do more transactions, uh, than, uh, BTC coin and also without the, the fees going up. Right. Um, and yeah, we should all be happy about that. You know, like, um, like I was, I said on Twitter today, um, you know, I don't know, I guess the normal cycle is, you know, uh, things are, are not doing too well, bear market prices down and everybody's like, Hmm, I'm sad. Right. Uh, but that's when you got to work. And then, uh, when the price goes up and everybody's like, yeah, it's looking good. And everybody's kind of like, you know, relaxed, ah, time for a beer. Yeah. Job well done. Well, that's time to work. I'm sorry. That's not the time to sit back and rest on your laurels because, um, we need to sustain that. We need to, to leverage, uh, the progress and get forward, you know, move forward. So like we've had this tremendous gift of noise.cash, which is, uh, probably producing, I'm guessing more than 90% of transactions on, uh, the network, uh, for the last few months, maybe. So, um, you know, and th those are all legitimate transactions. It's not like we're, you know, jamming up the, the blockchain with weather data. Um, I mean, this is legitimate. It's real. Um, but also, you know, at the end of the day, like, so, uh, Simon's going to make some change, you know, that's going to result in fewer transactions. Right. And so that, that's kind of like, um, that's kind of not great. Right. Because. One of the things I think that for me has me, you know, kind of a bit pumped is the whole rising transaction count thing, right? Because we don't want to be, we don't want BCH to be a ghost town. So, um, I'm a little nervous about that, frankly. And as I was saying to somebody today, like, yeah, noise.cash is awesome, but we need like 10 noise.caches. And by that, what I, I don't mean that we need 10 Twitter like social networks where millionaires are like, you know, dumping millions of dollars on, uh, people in the developing world who mostly just begged. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we need like 10 different things that are producing a uh, large amounts of transactions on chain that are legitimate. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying to fabricate things or anything or falsify or, uh, that's, I don't, fake is not, of no interest to me, but we need those things, right? So one thing of course is the business plan. 
uh, that uh, I, I've developed uh, around remittances. Remittances is a $700 billion per year industry. It's huge. We would only have to capture a small chunk uh, to uh, generate uh, some, generate a lot of really nice things. Another thing is if we could get local.bitcoin.com or uh, a competitor, um, you know, like working right, you know, both technically right and, and get some momentum there, right? Um, you know, because really that site is on the downswing and it's a, it's a fundamental, it's, it's a fundamental infrastructure for all mass adoption out there. And, um, and I think that can produce a good number of transactions, right? Because uh, if people have easy liquidity that doesn't require all the KYC, AML, you know, uh, cavity inspections of the centralized exchanges, then, you know, then um, we can get some other, we can get some other like local commerce, like, you know, going, you know, merchants and informal remittances and all, all this all this other little stuff and, and and that can start snowballing right but you know if somebody has to to cash out or to buy bch like if they have to go through btc or usdt on binance p2p i uh, know please no no that's please please no um <clears throat> So we need, like, we can't just sit and be like, oh, well, Bitcoin Cash broke a thousand, or probably break it again soon, right? We're like, what? Let's see what the price is uh, right now, 891, you know? Uh, we can't just be like, yeah, great, we're doing great, have a beer, it's Miller time, man. No, sorry, now is the time to build harder. Now is the time to leverage that price movement and get more people building here, you know. I think another thing that has potential is jungle, jungle.net. Um, you know, if we can get, they're, they're really like, I would like to see whoever's buying jungle.net to launch some kind of uh, marketing thing, you know, because like a lot, a lot of times we see neat things in the BCH space and then people don't really have they developed ambition to make it something big. It's just like a prototype for them, you know? It's just an experiment. Like, I, people can't visualize that they could be quite successful, you know? And so, like, everything that gets done can be quite successful, you know? Um, but you gotta put in the work day after day after day after day. You gotta market it. You gotta evolve the platform, you know? Uh, you got to talk to people and see what they liked about it and what they didn't, you know. Uh, you got to do personalized outreach, you know. Like last year when I did um, that like 17 and a half hour live stream for fork, the Fork Day anniversary. Like I spent a lot of time doing personalized outreach to get all those people, all those prominent people to uh, join me on the live stream, you know. Um, you got to do that. So, but at the end of the day, the point I want to make is we just need more people. We need to onboard more people. And there need, we need to be, you know, and the new people, you guys need to just not sit there and like look at your wallet all day, your wallet balance and, you know, figure out how to get more. Like, I, I want you guys thinking about like what, what is Bitcoin Cash? What's behind it? Um, you know, learning more about the principles of it, not just the absorbing the prevailing attitudes of the Bitcoin Cash tribe, uh, but, you know, more of the, the ideas and the potential and think about what you can build because, you know, you may, you may see, say, oh, I'm just like a 19 year old in, uh, in, um, you know, Ibadan, uh, Ibadan, uh, Nigeria. I don't, I don't, I can't do anything. I don't know anything. Well, you're wrong, man. You're wrong. You take two years, you learn something, you develop skills, you know, be it graphic design, be it digital marketing, be it, uh, you know, uh, a fr you know, frameworks, um, via, you know, C++, Python, JavaScript, React, whatever. You learn all that stuff, you will be able to do interesting things. Um, you will be able to make contributions. And even if by then you decide 
that like BCH is, is not so much your thing, well, those, you can take those skills elsewhere. I think people, people underestimate what they can do in a year, you know, or, or even just six months. You can make a major upgrade to your life in six months, but you also have to abandon some of the uh, bad habits and the, the passive mindset uh, that you have. So, yeah, I just want to encourage everyone. We need to, we need more people here. We need we need more people who who want to build. We need more builders because at the end of the day, decentralization is not about how many uh, full node teams we have or how we configure our full nodes or do we have a full node on our spare laptop in our closet or whatever. It's about onboarding lots and lots and lots of people, you know. Anyway, so let's keep building Bitcoin Cash. Thanks for watching.